Good morning, FCF. This is day three of our eight-day journey. It'll be two weeks, but eight days total, where we're looking at what Scripture says about various images for those that are Christians. Uh, we started out by looking at the, the very beginning. What were the first Christians called? Well, they were called followers of the way. Jesus was the way, the truth, the life. Then they were disciples, meaning that they were those that submitted completely to the teaching of Jesus, their teacher, because they wanted to become just like Him. And from there, they were called Christians, first followers of the way, disciples. Then they were called Christians because their lifestyle was manifesting the same kind of character that they saw in Jesus or that others knew about in Jesus. So today we're going to take a little bit of an expanded look, and I'm going to take you to the book, first of all, of Ephesians, Paul writing to followers of Christ that lived in Ephesus. And in Ephesians chapter 5, and I'm going to start in verse 8. Paul says, You were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Live as children of light. For the fruit of light consists in all goodness, righteousness, and truth. And find what pleases the Lord. Have nothing to do with the fruitless deeds of darkness, but rather expose them. So here we have this description of Christians as those that, are, that were once darkness, but now they're not just in the light, they are the light. Jesus said in the Sermon on the Mount, He said, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. So a Christian is one who has embraced the teaching of Christ because they trust in Him and whose life is starting to manifest it in such a way that it becomes a light to the society that they are placed in. They start living according to the principles that God designed human beings to live according, which is to live the way Jesus taught. And this can, it doesn't always, but it can turn the lights on in other people that are still living in darkness. They, they start to wonder, why does that person behave the way they do? Why are they so different and different in a positive way? Let me give you one more scripture that emphasizes this same aspect that we are now light. This is from 1 Thessalonians, Paul writing to followers of Christ in Thessalonica. And in chapter 5, let me start in verse 5. He says, You are all sons of the light and sons of the day. We do not belong to the night or to the darkness. So then let us not be like others who are asleep, but let us be alert and self-controlled. For those who sleep, sleep at night, and those who get drunk, get drunk at night. But since we belong to the day, let us be self-controlled, putting on faith and love as a breastplate and the hope of salvation as a helmet. So here we have this description again that we are those that are light as followers of Christ. And so we have to ask ourselves, is, is my life, and of course we might be at various stages of learning about you know, what it means to live the way Christ designed human beings to live, and that's okay. But to the degree that I'm learning truth about the way God designed me to live, am I putting it into practice so that my life is starting to be a light progressively? The more we learn about the way God designed us to live or the, or the ways that Jesus taught, the more we put it into practice, the more life our light will emit. Life emitted can turn the light on in the eyes of others that are in darkness. And of course, that's God's intention for us. So, Followers of the way, disciples, Christians, lights, lights in a dark world. Be a light, uh, FCF followers of Christ. Let me pray with you as we go. Father, may your spirit give us boldness to live up to the truth that we understand to be lights in this world, to your honor and to the blessing of those around us. It's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. I'm that as they hold up, I'm holding on to the love that has laid.